Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now September 20th of 2023, and given that Snow White, the live-action remake, is going through endless damage control by Disney, including Bob Iger, the CEO, really trying to level this movie out to diminish the backlash as much as possible, which is exactly why demands were given to director Mark Webb and the editors of the film to really kind of cut down the running time and to rearrange scenes, make it more attractive to the general audience and to the common moviegoer. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And let's get into what's going on with Bob Iger and his perspective of the Snow White backlash and everything happening with this movie drama. Now we know that Snow White is going to be one of those ironic releases. Everything started for Disney when it came to movies back in 1937 because of Snow White, and it could very well end in 2024 with Snow White, or at the very minimum, deeply tarnish and impact their, their live-action remakes and reboots, etc. Now, we know that Bob Iger has a very much negative opinion on those criticizing Snow White. Uh, he has been very vocal about this, and he was vocal about it again, and we're going to be going over every single aspect about that. However, one thing before we get into this is that we know that Bob Iger, as I like to typically call him Bob Liger, this guy lies for a living, he says whatever he has to say to please the shareholders, to keep them at ease, and to also mislead the general public about their movies and TV shows. But let's get into all of this now. Now, with Snow White going through many difficulties right now behind closed doors, Iger recently had to deliver something to the public in response to the ongoing backlash for the film. I would first like to make this known to, the, to everyone that we don't engage or initiate any kind of culture wars. That's not what we are here at Disney are all about. Our approach to retelling films like this, much like Snow White, are nothing more than a new iteration of the character that we wanted to explore while also our main goal was to focus on a strategy to provide our customers a new take on the Seven Dwarfs by not offending those in the dwarfism community while this film has been in production. This goes for when the actors were playing these characters during principal photography and what our creators have been doing with them in post-production. Now guys, let me just pause here quick. Do you all not realize how crazy this seems, but Disney's headquarters, for those of you that don't know, Disney HQ, the building itself, has the traditional seven dwarfs embedded into the structure of the building. I'll try to remember to include some images in here. It's crazy, the fact that they believe that they could not stand with the original iteration of the characters from Snow White 1937, yet it's on their headquarter building. And that is so hypocritical to the point where it is just ludicrous. It is crazy. But let's move forward, shall we? Now on top of that, he goes on to elaborate further. This goes for when the actors were playing these characters in many different scenarios. We have been analyzing the response to our direction for this film, and we feel this is being widely over-exaggerated and overreacted among those who do not want to embrace change within a story, and this kind of attitude is something that we try to ignore and filter out for our cast and crew to deal with on all fronts. Just because we are embracing a new iteration of our Snow White character and its surrounding side characters does not mean we are engaging in any kind of culture wars, and this type of belief among the public should come to a complete halt. So guys, basically what Bob Iger is saying here is that you guys better be quiet, don't raise your opinion, don't make your opinion publicly known, or else. That's basically what Iger is pretty much saying here, is that they don't like to hear people saying that they don't like this iteration of Snow White. And that's his favorite word, by the way, iteration. It gets quite tiresome after a while hearing him say that, but in reality, we all know exactly what it is. It is, by definition, a, a start of a culture war. They are literally stripping down the source material. It's not just about Zegler, by the way playing Snow White, it's not just about a different ethnicity playing the character, but it's literally about them ditching the source material to really chase a woke agenda. We already know that the prince is not going to save 
uh, Snow White in this film. This, this was all confirmed by Rachel Zegler and Gal Gadot. They said this on camera and in other various interviews off camera where the prince is not really even a prince in this movie. He's just called Jonathan or John and he does not save Snow White in the traditional sense at all. All right. Now, what's interesting about this further before I get to the next thing that Iger talks about is that additionally, there are going to be a lot of tone downs in this movie. What I mean by that is they're watering down the story. They felt that Snow White 1937 was way too scary for younger audiences, so they're making this more of a different style or a different tone, if you will. Uh, there's been a lot of talk, and we talked about this, that the Apple scene is going to be drastically changed in Snow White, the live-action remake. Now, moving on, he goes on to elaborate again. We are all about satisfying all communities around the globe. He's talking about inclusion, by the way. And this film of ours is the best example of establishing that in a correct and safe way by director Mark Webb and our talented writers working on this film so hard. It is our main interest to please our long and loyal customers to witness a modern spin on the iconic character and its surrounding storyline to accomplish a goal we have never obtained before in the film industry. We are very thankful for everyone's support as we are preparing to showcase this film to the world. So right there, he's teasing that the teaser and or the trailer is on the horizon. Again, I think that Bob Iger is the worst CEO of all time at Disney. He doesn't know what he's doing. This guy is out of his mind and he is lying every word here for Snow White 24. Now we know additionally that this movie is not going to work on several areas. It's not going to work in the marketing. It's not going to work for the box office. And it's definitely not going to work well on Disney Plus in the future. That's a given. So Snow White 24, it's a massive fail. We already know that the test screenings have been failing one after the other, including the re-edits have not been going smooth. The trailer companies that have been fired left and right and new ones getting hired has also been another example of ongoing drama over at Disney. And it just goes to show you that Bob Iger will do anything that he can, lie all he has to do with Snow White to please, like I said before, shareholders and the public to seeing this movie, to getting butts in theaters, right? That's all it's really about. So. I think that everything related to Disney in general, it doesn't matter if it's just Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, it's all in a very delicate position. And they don't know what to do with all of it. That's just the, that's just the truth of it all. So overall, I would really love to hear everyone's take on the whole situation below in the comments. Everything ranging from Bob Iger's perspective to what's going on with the ongoing damage control for Snow White. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys next time.